All right, folks, this is Pitching Ace 88, and we are back playing Plants vs. Zombies 2. It's about time. We are in Ancient Egypt. We're not on a day. We are on the final boss of Ancient Egypt. This is very difficult. Have you ever wondered why your neighbor David hungers so? What secret ingredient in the taco would drive his desire? Could it be that he needs your brains as much as we do? What? No way! I would never eat a brain taco. But I don't remember what was in it. I gotta love Dave. Now this guy is gonna be a problem for you guys. I mean, I'll, I'll show you guys some strategies that I've used. Um, basically, he is gonna be putting out a whole bunch of zombies in your way. Uh, I use the bong choy really normally at the very closeness because as you can see at the top that bok choy does a pretty darn good damage honestly with the zombox um, he's gonna shoot some stuff take out certain squares he does something which is very unfortunate which is actually run and destroy about two um, full rows not fun like right there two full rows now the one great thing that he does is when he gets rid of those two rows he also gets rid of the zombies, so you can definitely use that to your advantage. Now the plant food, you can use that to save yourself, or you can use it to really take him out. Now I didn't know he was going to run up so closely, which is very unfortunate, but that bok choy was doing really good damage on him. Now you'll notice that I'm trying to put as many people in this row as possible, just due to the fact that they're gonna they're gonna end up taking us out because we don't have all the graves down and that's gonna just prove to be so problematic for us so unfortunately we have to waste a whole bunch of uh, zombies protecting that row but again you have to do it especially when he's at when he isn't even ha halfway through now look he got rid of the bucket head we couldn't be happier I mean, we're, we should be thrilled that he did this. So always keep at least one plant food in your back pocket just to hopefully save you from, like, this bottom row that uh, is going to be some problems for sure. And as you can see right now, he's really not putting any of them in the top row. So... No need to plant up there. You can focus basically all of your stuff on the bottom. Now use the plant food on that bonk choy really just to get rid of those guys. The Anubis guy can be a huge pain. I really want him to be the first one out. I'm um, trying to do my, my best to get rid of that guy. Because if you keep him up there, he's going to plant so many graves that it's going to be almost impossible for you to do any real damage. You are going to have to use some of the plant food like here to get rid of some of the bucket heads just because they're doing so, they're, they're going to end up taking your lawnmower. And all the while, while you stay alive, you are doing damage on him most likely. Most likely there's at least one row where you are doing some damage to him. If you have a catapult, if he's ever in at least two, one of the two or three rows, he will be doing damage. So that is, that is an added benefit. That row right there is going to be problematic because, again, we have the wonderful gravestone. Trying to get rid of all the Anubis guys. Was not able to get rid of all of them. Um, really not much fun. But, again, look, we got rid of him because we have the blue meringue. Uh, very, very helpful. Can't always predict where the guy is going to go. You know, like, if he's going to get rid of a row or something, you, you'll want to get rid of it. But you can't always tell which row he's going to go to. If he has that, if he's targeting a row, you can pretty much guarantee that you have about 5-10 seconds of him staying in one spot. There's times like that where he just threw out two gravestones. Four gravestones. Now, if you use a plant food on a bonk choy, you actually take probably about a 16th of his health. So, throughout this, you get about six uh, plant foods. Eh, you might get a little bit more. 
you use six of them, you can basically take away about half of his health. So, if you guys have the opportunity, put the Bonk Choi somewhere near the front. Because the Bonk Choi is going to do the most damage. I mean, he's almost at a quarter of health, and mostly it's because we're, do we're, we're using that Bonk Choi. Now that top row is going to be problems. Definitely. That's another reason why you save your plant food. Because worst case scenario, you find something to, to help out. Now you got a Gargantuan in that row. You need to do your best to get rid of these things, man. The Gargantuans. They're worse than the Bucketheads. <laughs> Yeah, he's at a quarter of a health. Use the plant food, which is great. Does great damage to him. You can time that. Good for you. And he took out the boomerang, which is actually nice. I'd rather take out that than anything else. So he took out those two rows. And with those bucket heads, it makes it super nice. Now again, we got an Anubis here. Big problem for us. Not fun. He's gonna keep throwing stuff. Not good. So at this point, you got him down to less than a quarter of a health. If you get a Bonk Choi and you have the opportunity to use plant food, use it. Go for the jugular, take out Mr. Zombox. I'm just planting stuff down because I want that plant food. I want to be able to take out Zombox. Using the using that on the cabbage pole just to do damage to every row because we didn't have a bonk choy available for us at that time and we really need to get rid of the Anubis. The Anubis guys are gonna give us so many problems. Now we froze them just because we really needed to get we really needed to slow them from getting to our lawnmowers. Not for any other reason. Now we got one more plant. Now what we can do is, again, look at his health. If you get him down to this health, you want to use your plant food and just take him out on a bonk choy or, in this case, a repeater. And that's it, guys. That is basically all she wrote. This is how you defeat Dr. Zomboss, at least in ancient Egypt. Use those plant foods to hopefully do damage to him. If you can't, you can definitely use it on the characters, on the zombies. Wait a minute. There was never any meat in that taco. I still have Tofunky in my beard to prove it. <laughs> well, that just leaves more brains for us later. I'll find you again in another where and another when. All right, maniacal zomboss. So that, folks, is the Ancient Egypt Trophy. You've defeated Dr. Zomboss' creation, the Zombot Sphinxinator. And we got a prize. So that, folks, right there is basically going to complete the level. There's still levels to play in other worlds, but for right now, we are all good to go. I will see you guys in Pirate Seas. This has been Pitching Ace 88. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do everything you can. Over and out.